The international marketplace might as well be the town square, the only game in town in this five square mile community just below the 49th parallel, stuck behind two land border crossings. We are the only source of food for everybody in Point Roberts. You find everything okay? Oh, yeah. Yet owner Allie Hayton All right, there's 20. says she will close the doors on July 15th. It was kind of like the last nail in the coffin. She says U.S. and Canadian officials have cut off the spigot with the extension of the ban on non-essential travel and no exemption for the exclave with its unique set of circumstances. Because my store is open, our border remains closed. But because the border is closed, my store can't remain open indefinitely. She is the latest and biggest business in this slice of Whatcom County to make such an announcement. The golf course and marina are down to a skeleton crew. The remaining restaurant is closed. Gas stations are shuttered or on an automated service. Today, the town's fire chief fired off a letter to Governor Jay Inslee, the Whatcom County exec, and U.S. officials writing that the store's closure is bad news. And if no action is taken, you will be responsible for the destruction of an entire U.S. Washington State community and place Point Roberts into a humanitarian crisis. I've got more assistance from a little old lady in Chicago sending me a, a card and a $250 bills because she felt so bad for us when she saw us on the news. Sure hope we get this border thing for you guys soon. Me too. Hayton believes, like the produce in the store, the continued closure is bananas. The silver lining to this is a lot of people know what Point Roberts is now who have never heard of it before. We can recover if there's anything left to recover. One of the reasons why people are so fired up on the point is because they've only had two positive COVID cases since March of 2020 and vaccination rates are near 90%. That is with a population of less than 1,000 people. Today, the Canadian government announced they're relaxing some restrictions on Canadians returning to that country after July 5th, but that is not nearly enough for everybody on the point right now. That is the story reporting live. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.